where in Silwan, which is at the heart of the battle for Jerusalem, because there are Palestinians who live in some of these neighborhoods who face not only losing their homes, but having them destroyed completely. عمالها بتدمر بيوتنا بتصادر في اراضينا وبتعطيناش ترخيص ونسال الله ربنا يغير هالحال بحال ثاني انه هذه مش حياه مش حياه Silwan is just a few streets away from Sheikh Jarrah. Earlier this year, attempts to forcibly evict Palestinians contributed to a chain of events that led to Hamas rocket fire and Israel bombing Gaza. What happened brought international attention to Sheikh Jarrah, which has helped delay them being forced out of their homes. But in Silwan neighborhoods like Al Bastan, there's no one to stop the demolitions. Uda says his home is being taken away piece by piece. He's currently fighting an order of eviction from the older portion of the house, while the newer half has been marked for destruction over permit violations. But Uda and others say they've been forced to build without proper permits for years because only 7% of all Israeli permits in Jerusalem are given out to Palestinian neighborhoods. Of course, in Silwan, every house has a plan, every house has a story. Every goal is one goal, one goal, one goal, one goal, one goal. وإحلال مستوطنين مكاننا هو يعني أنتم موجودين اليوم بدي أحكي لكم في أخطر مكان في العالم في مدينة القدس في أكثر محل في صراع بس الصراع أنتم ما بتشوفوه ولا بتسمعوا صوته بس إحنا كفلسطينيين عايشين هون كمقدسيين عايشين على مدار ال 24 ساعة بتفاصيله في ألمه المركب في وجعه المركب الناس عندنا هون بتربي الخيول العربية القصيرة فعليا فانت هون بتشوفي نوعين بتشوفي نوع من الحياة في الملعب وبتشوفي الطفل نفسه اللي بيلعب بالملعب بتطلع في البيت المهدوم خلاصة انتم كلكم من سلوان؟ كلكم كلهم بيوتهم مهددة بالهدم ما هم كمان يا الشباب after Jewish settlers move into their homes in Silwan, the Israeli government provides them with armed guards to escort them around. This is the government. شايف كيف كم كم عدي يعني إذا بذا تقدر أصلاً تعدوا كم كاميرا هي فعلياً. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight CCTV cameras. آه بالراحة هيك هلا هاي البيوت كلها مسلطة على البيوت ال 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 الناس وبيوت الناس ال الفلسطينيين طبعاً وهي بتنتهي كل خصوصية ما في عنا أي نوع من الخصوصية يعني إحنا. Many Palestinian residents of Silwan say a group called Atret Kohanim is behind the attempts to forcibly evict them. The group's executive director, Daniel Luria, denies this and says Yemeni Jews used to live in some homes and Atarat Kohanim's goal is simply to return Jewish people to the area. What's very noticeable coming down these alleyways and these streets is the Arabic writing everywhere, the Palestinians that are here. It's filled with Palestinians. That's correct. It's a, it was until we moved back to the old Yemenite village, this has been primarily an Arab neighborhood. Uh, but the Zionist dream is unfolding. We have returned to the land of Israel. We returned to Jerusalem, and we've also returned to the old Yemenite village. There are Arabs that wanted to sell, and in the last uh, 16 years, which is when Jewish life sprouted up again, um, 
basically uh, a lot more Jews have now moved into this uh, neighbourhood. Can you understand why people would find it shocking that despite the fact you were born and raised in, uh, in Australia since so you were 17, a Palestinian who was born here does not have the sovereign right to the land, but you would? I don't see the problem with that. As long as a person understands that I'm Jewish, then everyone understands the connection. Everyone knows that the Jews were kicked out of and the temple was destroyed and the state of Israel was destroyed by the Romans 2,000 years ago. What about the many, many people yeah. who just don't care about any religious claim okay. or, or anything to do with God? And what they just look at is the Still in the world or here? In the world, in the world. Okay, well, I, I'm not here to prove anything to the world. If you don't believe and, and uh, accept uh, my historical connection, that's your problem. If the only thing you accept is wars and those who win wars, then we've won wars, we're here. The conqueror takes all. The area has a heavy police presence. Locals say it's been ramped up since the protests in Sheikh Jarrah, and there's also been an increase in the number of men, some as young as 13, who've been arrested. Shortly after we leave, we hear Kateba Uda was one of them. This is the second time that Koteba has been arrested in the past two weeks. We still don't know exactly what his charges are, but his family insists the reason he's being held is because he's an activist who is at the front of the fight to try and help the Palestinians save their homes in Silwan. During multiple pre-trial hearings, Uda is warned that he could face charges of offering services to terrorist organizations. And he tells us he was manhandled by Israeli guards for speaking to Vice on the way to court. Uda believes his fight to save Palestinian homes is behind his arrest and others. Assalamu alaikum. Zuhair Rajbi, are you here? Huh? Shukran. Assalamu alaikum. Zuhair Rajbi, are you أنا اسمي هند صحفي من بريطانيا ممكن نسألك سؤال؟ أهلا وسهلا ممكن ندخل؟ شكرا أهلا وسهلا شكرا جزيلا رجابي says that he and 85 other families were served with a court order to vacate their homes in 2015 while they appealed he claims that Atarat Kohanem offered to buy his home Daniel Luria declined to comment on this claim طول عمرها للمستوطنين واليهود حاولون تصوير ان المواطن الفلسطيني ارهابي قاتل مجرم ولكن هذه تغيير الصوره الحقيقيه للمواطن الاسرائيلي عن المواطن الفلسطيني ولكن بالعكس I've noticed that in your house you have CCTV footage. What are you watching on here? مرات موجودة من أجل عندما يتم اعتداء من قبل المستوطنين أو حتى شرطة الإسرائيلية على المواطنين هون كل يوم نشوف الشرطة الإسرائيلية موجودة هون بتخرب بتفتش البيوت ويحاولوا لأنه يعتقلوا في كتير أطفال كتير من هدول كل اللي بتشوفيهم قدام كلهم كانوا في السجن ومعتقلين After five days in prison without ever being charged with a crime Uda is released I'm not 